What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, and I am so glad to have you here because you know who I am. I am Mr. Fat Boy, aka FBF, aka Juan, aka the hardest working man in Fragcom. Thank you so much for tuning in. We got a big list today. So we're going to get all up in here very, very quickly. First, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And if you are new to this channel, please hit the like and subscribe. Join the Fat Boy family. We love to have you. And when you do join and you leave a comment, make sure you include the words 5K so you can be entered for the road to 5K, baby. Can we get there by the end of the year? We have so many prizes to give away. I hope we can. So I can give away these prizes. Details are below the road to 5K. Want the sample? My uh, Middle Eastern collection, you can. A link is below. Go right and check them all out. That is fatboyfragrance.com where you can sample them. Plus, I'll leave the link to go directly to them. Fatboyfragrance.com where the customer is always right. Where we have a December buy three, get one free going on all the way to Christmas Eve. Fatboyfragrance.com. Okay, let's go. These are going to be my best and favorite Middle Eastern fragrances I picked up this year. My list, the ones I think you should try. Let's get all up in it, baby. You know how we do it. No edits, no do-overs, one take, and one take, and I always get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. back we are back let's get all up in this list now I have been collecting middle Fra Eastern fragrances just like you guys have for a long time looking for that great clone or you heard such a good thing about a fragrance uh, maybe one that you probably always think about right here is one like this one right here one my, oh there went something and it fell I'm sure it wasn't nothing important <laughs> hope it wasn't <laughs> no edits this one was one of my original ones I picked up and I'll never forget, and I still love it, and that's Le Parfait from Armoff. These are fragrances that are made by Middle Eastern houses. They don't have to be originals. They can't be clones. Man, this is a legit, legit compliment getter, Le Parfait from Armoff. These are fragrances that I picked up this year that I really enjoyed. I picked up over 30 of them. These are about 15, uh, 12 to 15 that I like. No particular order. I'm just going to give them to you. So let's go. I kind of divide them up into fresh fragrances and into kind of cooler month fragrances. And we'll go from there. And some of them could be worn in both. But let's go ahead and start with the the, the um, kind of cooler month ones. I've worn most of them. I've worn all of them at some point in the house. I never full wear. These are my feelings about them. I wear them kind of if I like them or not. And they where they fit. Okay? So let's go. No particular order. And when I mess these names up, don't worry about it. It'll be okay. All right. Here we go. One of the first ones I got picked up, and there's going to be a big battle going on. I'm not saying this is my favorite. The reason I left Fragrance World out, because I really don't know if Fragrance World is in, in a Middle Eastern house or not, so I didn't put in suits in this. I just chose the Tuxedo Clone, because it's one of my favorite fragrances to wear in the in, in the cooler months is YSL's Tuxedo. And I got the version here from Pandora Sense, or I think it's the top one of those two. It is called Tudor. This one, Knox, it's really well done. Uh, I will be having a, b a battle between this and Suits. Um, you probably already saw it. It might already happen. I think it already has happened. So if you saw that video, you saw which one I picked. Um, this one's really good though. I was excited to get this one. I love it. It's going to save me from wearing out my last my tuxedo to wear. So I like this one. It's close enough. It works really well. Definitely a must try. And that is Tudor from Pandora Sense. All right, next one up is one of the Angel Share clones that I've also done a video on. You probably saw it already, too. And that is, this one is from Latafa, and it's called Sharif Simaya. There you go. And I got to show you something real quick. A gorgeous bottle, too. A gorgeous box just came in. And I showed this in the, in the video when I did the comparison when I was doing the battle. I love this box. Love, love the whole look of it. Sits in this little mirror thing like that. Beautifully done. Uh, not really expensive box, but it's nice presentation, you know. Looks good on the shelf. This one is an Angel Share clone, superbly done. I think mostly slept on by most most of the community. This one knocks. Love this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I do own Angel Share, you know, and it's 
need to refill it, but when I keep getting these great clones, I just love wearing them. This one was a, it was a hit when I wore it. Definitely worth you checking out for the cooler weather. If you're a fan of Angel Share, for the price that you can get these. These are all only like 30 bucks or cheaper. And most of them are. And this is from Latafa, their version of Angel Share. All right, so next up, this one, I don't know what it's a clone of. I can't remember. But when I first smelled it, my first impression was like, man, this thing is leathery, a little funky. But then when I let it dry down, I really started to like it. Reminds me a lot of this fragrance from Latafa that I did not enjoy when I first sprayed it, but I absolutely love now. It's not on the list, but I just want to mention it because I didn't get this last year. I've had this for about three years now. Latafa Wood Intense absolutely did not really blow me away in the beginning, but now it really has. This one is from um, Al Harid and Silver. It's called Al Harid Silver from Latafa. There you go. You would think it'd be like a silver mountain water clone. No, this bad boy is straight up leather, all leather. Man, but the leather is done so well. Reminds me of a Louis Vuitton leather fragrance. And this thing lasts. You want something that lasts. You're looking to layer it. This is a great one to layer with an Adventist fragrance. Something like that. This one just stays in the air. It's a beautifully done leather fragrance that you got for cheap. If you're looking for a straight leather fragrance, this might be the one you want to try. This is a slept on hit, in my opinion. I finally review this one very soon. I love the way it smells, it takes over the air. It's a gorgeous leather fragrance. No bad leather note in this one. This is one of those sleeper hits, I believe everybody's got to try if you like leather fragrances. So that's a great one I picked up this year. This one I picked up during the beginning of the year. This is more on here for my wife. My wife and my daughter love this fragrance. They wear it all the time. They're the ones that have worn most of it. It's halfway empty. I've sold a couple samples, but not that much. This is Armoff Untold, the Club Nuit line. Their version of Baccarat 540. Everybody went crazy over it. I don't think it's the best version, but for the bang for your buck, it gets the job done. There is a little offness with it, but my wife and them love it, so I know ladies will love this one too, so that's why I put it on this list, because I did purchase it this year, and I think it's very well done. Just not my favorite clone, but if you're looking for a good Baccarat 540 clone, there you go, Armoff Untold. Another one, that's probably unisex. You can wear that one year round. It is unisex, but I like it more in the cooler months for some reason. This one is a clone of a Mio Paris fragrance. Their version of African leather. And I gotta tell you, I've smelled African leather, and I like it. I love this one, their version of it. It's called Afro Leather. I mean, I have a Mimo Paris bottle right here, right? But <laughs> and it's not, it's ocean leather, but you can see that uh, uh, Mason Ambra, they're not even trying. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty much identical. Uh, kind of feels more 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 expensive than the, than this one does, actually. Um, this is from Mason Ambra, it's called Afro Leather. It's an eau de parfum. It is definitely African leather from Mio Paris. It is a spot on clone, because I compared them. And you gotta be a fan of the rose note, but I tell you what, this one will make you feel rich when you wear it. Definitely upscale. And, and I'm glad I got this because don't know if I want to spend the money on Mimo. This might be enough for me right here because I don't wear this profile that much, but I want to go for it. I'll just go for this one. All right, so next one up is also in the cooler month vein. And it is part of that Hunter line that came out, which I absolutely thought these were coolest bottles a bunch. I never reviewed these and I should have. I don't know what it's a clone of, but I absolutely love it. And it's part of the Hunter Killer Armoff Hunter line. You remember the old Hunter fragrances? One that smelled really good. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's the top of my head. I can't think of it. But these are really well done. They got a little necklace you can wear with a bullet in it. So kind of cool, crafty thing there. This one, definitely a, a, a cooler month fragrance. I think worth trying. And definitely one of those ones that does have a little bit of a uniqueness to it. And it's, and it's cool looking bottle. Cool concept. I love Hunter Killer Red from our moth. Really well done. All right, so we have one more, two more in that kind of vein of the cooler months. This one is from Emir, and it is called Frenetic. This is their version of Dior Favalish, and I got to tell you that ambery apple pie vibe you get from this is spot on. There's a little off, there's not much, but man, to save over 200, 300 bucks to get this, definitely worth it. It does have a little bit of an office, but it dries down beautifully. Works really well. I love buying this one this year. It's one of my favorite Middle Eastern pickups for sure. And that is called Frenetic Delicious. I don't know what this is. All right. Um, 
two more right here from the private key line. I did not take all three of the Armoths. I only chose the two that I like the most for the winter. And I think my two favorites. And that is a key to my success, the gray bottle, and key to my love, key to my dreams. This is a spot on clone of the OG um, uh, uh, OG uh, 1 million with a little bit of Invictus mixed together. This is a hit. This one's a hit, dude. Straight up hit, guys. Well worth checking out. And Akita Mike Success is the most popular one. Everybody keeps saying about it. Beautifully done. Not a clone, really. But just really done. I like this one a lot. I think they work great in my collection. Um, I give them high reviews. These are my two of the favorites. They're very expensive at $90. So the most expensive ones on this are these two. It cost me, what, like almost $300 to get all three of them. So that's what they run you. But they're worth it in my opinion. They're beautifully done. Beautiful bottles. Very, very high, I know, high quality when it came to our moth stepping up their game. No doubt. So key to my success, key to my love are my two favorites. I picked up this year. Alright. Now let's move on to some fresh ones. Cause I I I I like I think the fresh fragrances from Middle Eastern houses are to me are the ones I, I like the most because I think those are the most challenging for them. Um, they, I've got a great Tiger clone from Tarathi called Blue Tarathi. It works really well. Um, there's been some great pickups this year for um, for fresh fragrances on them too. So let's start off with one right here. It's part of. It's not. Remember, these didn't have to be released this year. Just I picked them up this year. Aura Fresh from Armaf. You want a clone of? I don't know if I can get to it. Of um, Versace Mano Fresh. That's what you got here, but lasts longer. Got a Bitter, a little bit better of a sea salt bite to it. Oh, damn, that thing is beautiful. Beautiful. I love this fragrance. Easy pickup. You got a young kid you want to get a fragrance for, you don't want to spend a lot of money on. Or a fresh is the one you might want to get. All right, so I love that one I picked up. Another one's from the Odyssey line. This one's called Odyssey Aqua. Another stunning looking bottle. This one I like just to pick up and wear. Looking for a new gym scent. Here you go. Man, does this thing knock. There's a review coming on this one at some point. This is better than Athenan 9 a.m. Athenan 9 a.m. Wish you could smell this good. And Athenan 9 a.m. is probably one of the best fresh releases from a Middle Eastern house. This doesn't really smell too much like anything I really put my finger on, but it's beautiful. It's got a blue note to it. It's got an aquatic note to it. It's got a little sweet kind of note to it i i just love this fragrance it's definitely top five for me pickups of the year but i definitely highly recommend this one and i think this one's kind of new this year too all right another new one for this year is called caballo i've worn it i'm doing a double di uh, dip review on two of these i'm not gonna go too far into it because these two right here i i have a review on them coming i've already done it caballo i love the bottle look i like the little zippers this leather feel on there this one is more of an Adventist style fragrance. Beautifully done. Compliment getter. And I'll get into this more when I review it. I'm also going to review it right beside this one. And it's called Armaf's Ego Tigre. Or Tiger. Doesn't smell like Tiger at all. But it's got that little flip top like that. These two are fresh beasts. I plan to talk about them in a review. That's how highly I thought of these. So these are definitely absolutely worth me picking up and I love the bottle feel the leather look looks so cool on the shelf these are cool looking bottles they don't look like you know trying to be too out on the state you know trying to be too fancy they're just right they're like once if I was gonna get some for some kids uh, my son wanted a fragrance or my teenage son or son going to college these two right here will stand out and they're on their shelves they look great great ones for them too all right Next up is another fresh one that absolutely blew me away how good it was and how close it is to the one it's kind of imitate. And that is from, uh, I think it's Latafa. Uh, yeah, Latafa, and it's called Nausea. This is the clear one, not the black bottle one. I've heard that one being really good, but if you're looking for a clone, oh man, of, man this thing just knocks. Of, of, um, Invictus Aqua 2016, here you go. Nausea is perfect. Love this fragrance. I've done a review, I've done a bougie versus budget. You can check it out. Definitely a solid pickup this year, no doubt. One that kind of like 
to me smells better than the original and that's blasphemy if you're a Zorja fan and this is from Emir also it's called Vox Elegante Elegant and there it is this is their version of Naxos and I'll tell you what I'm not a huge Naxos fan I think it's way overrated but this one actually smells better this one actually smells better it looks just like it I mean look at the bottles I got a Naxos bottle right here it's almost empty look <laughs> Pretty close, but this one smells really good. I like it. It's a good pickup. It's well worth picking up if you're a fan of Naxos, okay? All right, we got two left, and that one was supposed to be in the uh, cooler month side, but it got stuck over here. Back to the fresh fragrances, okay? Here we go. Um, two left. This one was part of the iconic Club in the Wheat line, and this is their blue, their Chanel or Parfum version. It's gorgeous. One of the best blue fragrances out there. I'm not going to be able to pick up the cab. I know where it fell, but I love this fragrance. It is absolutely stunning, lasts long, and it's got that blue, beautiful note, no syntheticness. Love the bottle, too. That is Club Nuit, iconic blue. All right, and the last one, it's from also Armoth, and it's part of this lineup. I remember seeing people hate the first two of these that came out. It's the one you see with the tie on it. This is Enchanted. This one is actually the one I think it smells like Versace Man on first. I can't remember. I think that's, this is a Blue de Chanel, excuse me. So another Blue de Chanel fragrance, can we ever get enough of that? No. Again, something cheap, you wanna get somebody for the holidays, you can still, we're talking 25 bucks, a cool looking fragrance with a magnetic cap. Um, they'll be happy with this. Skin is for this guy who, you know, um, you know, has to wear a suit to work, or works in an office environment, wanna be different. Bam, there you go, beautiful fragrance, blue. For the normal person who doesn't really get into fragrances, they're gonna absolutely love this fragrance. They're gonna actually, they're gonna they're gonna love you when you get in this one. So right there. So there's my list of my favorite pickups from um, my Middle Eastern houses this year. I've definitely stepped up my Middle Eastern game. I have a lot more. Um, I will say there's a lot more I want to try. And there's someone here that did not make the list, and I'll tell you why. One's like. Um, this one right here, the, I, I, either I didn't get a chance to wear some of these, or I really haven't got my fingers around them. These two right here, don't know if they're bad or not, really haven't worn them. This is called uh, Space Age. I don't know what this is a fragrance clone of. It's for ladies, from our moth, but it's gorgeous. I just haven't really worn it, really had much reaction to it. And another one I haven't had a chance to wear is their version, uh, Amir's version of Killings Intoxicated. Another one I love. And there's some more over here that I haven't had a chance to wear. But those I told you a list of are ones I think you should check out right away if you haven't got them. They'll definitely, if they're clones, we're gonna definitely take advantage of that. If they're kind of new or they're kind of in the middle of being something, definitely worth checking out. You wanna sample these? These are very easy to sample at fatboyfragrance.com. You could try 10 of them and they're $4 a piece. So you're gonna, every for the third one, you'll get two uh, free. So after six, you'll get two free. So basically by the time, for 10, you end up only paying for eight of them. So that's $32 to try 10 fragrances and they're all five mLs for free shipping. You could try that many for that price. Or, uh, so going over to fatboyfragrance.com, the link will be below for the website, but also a link to go right into the Middle Eastern collection, where I've also included fragrances like uh, the Afternoon Swim clone, which we love, and that is uh, Sunset Swim, and the Fragrance World ones are in there too. So all right, so, that's it. That's all the time I got. I hope you enjoyed this list. I know you guys love lists. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And if you smell good and you feel good, then baby, it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out. <laughs>